Imagine going to heaven and coming back to earth. It's what happened to Don Piper when he was killed in a terrible accident 25 years ago. He wrote a best-selling book about what happened to him, and now that story has been turned into a movie called 90 Minutes in Heaven. Don Piper and his wife Eva join us now with more on the remarkable story. Don, take us back to that day when you were declared dead after the terrible accident. What happened? I was killed on the way to church, which I think means we need to be ready all the time. I uh, wasn't planning to die that day, but I did. I was on a rural bridge outside of a conference center on my way to lead a Bible study on a Wednesday night. And an 18-wheeler crossed the center stripe on that rural bridge and killed me instantly, just ran over me, crushing my car with me in it, struck a couple of other vehicles. Uh, the paramedics did everything they could to try to revive me, try to restore me, try to resuscitate me. Uh, in spite of their best efforts, they were unsuccessful. So I was pronounced dead by the paramedics on the bridge. The body was covered up with a tarp, so nobody had to see it. It was gruesome. And they're waiting for now for the coroner. Mm -hmm. Behind me are a lot of pastors who have been to the same conference. Well, one of them walked up on the bridge, saw the carnage, and felt led of the Lord to pray for me, even though he knew I was already a fatality. So he crawled in the car, held onto my right shoulder, because that's the only thing I didn't break, began to pray for me. Everyone else was notified, family, friends, church, that I was in an accident. They were not told that I was a fatality because they didn't want to tell them on the phone because I was a long way from home. Mm. And they started praying all over the world. Uh, within an hour and a half after the accident at 11.45 a.m., at 1.15, that pastor was praying over my dead body, singing, what a friend we have in Jesus. And suddenly there in the car, I started singing with him. He got out of the car very quickly and yelled, the dead man is singing. And that began the rest of my life here on earth. Wow, chills hearing about it. Of course, people who haven't heard your story want to know what was heaven like? What did you see? Who did you meet? It was awesome. It's just the most real thing ever uh, in my existence. Uh, I was surrounded by people who had known me and loved me in life and preceded me in death. And I came back from all these folks, my grandfather, my great grandmother, my next door neighbor, Miss Norris, uh, friends from high school who had killed, were killed in tragic accidents. All these people who surrounded me at the gates of heaven, I came back with the knowledge that they were all prepared. Heaven's a prepared place for prepared people. Mm -hmm. So they, none of them were planning to die the day they died, but they were ready. And the other thing I came back with is that the people who greeted me were expecting me. You're not going to sneak up on heaven. They knew I was coming and they were prepared for that day. But every one of them I saw helped me get there. They had played a role in my spiritual life. So my return uh, was with this question. If we greet people at the gates of heaven that we're going to, uh, you know, that help us get there, who are we going to greet? Mm. I think that's why we're still here, to help everyone else get there. Beautiful. Eva, talk to us about the challenges that follow when Don came back to life. What was like for you both? It was very challenging. Uh, I was not aware of the fact that he had been pronounced dead at the scene until about a week and a half later. Uh, so I was focused on his basic survival. Uh, he was so critically injured and then developed double pneumonia once he was in the hospital. Uh, so it was a day-to-day, a, a -day, sometimes a five-minute to five-minute thing. Still had our three children at home, still trying to uh, keep my classroom in some semblance of order. So. Uh, there were many times where I thought, I just can't do this anymore. But God sent his children, uh, Christian brothers and sisters, to hold me up, to guide me, to provide strength for me. Uh, we have incredible fa family, um, Don's parents, my family, uh, brothers and sisters who were there for us and uh, helped me know that I just really had to lean into God to make it through. And I'll tell you what, this movie, 90 Minutes in Heaven, does a powerful job of showing how community can come together to help those in need. Mm, that brings me to my next question, Don. What is it like? Like seeing your experience turned into a film, were they able to convey what heaven is really like? Well, we were very privileged because of the giving films people to actually be on the set for the majority of the filming. Um, and Eva was there a great deal of the time. I was there about 80% of the time. So we had input on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's a very realistic portrayal of what happened. But I must say, as the people who were the people, we, it's a film about us. Um, it's surreal to see people playing you, saying your words, uh, suffering the way you suffered and, uh, and overcoming it. So um, in, in some ways it's difficult for us to relive that, 
But in reliving it, I think it's going to really touch a lot of lives and bring hope to a lot of people who are wondering, how do you live after tragedy and loss and suffering and pain? And is heaven a real place? And you, you, can you go there? And the answer is yes. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So it's a movie about hope, 90 minutes in heaven. And uh, we're, uh, it, it's about us. And that's very, very kind of uh, odd to watch. But... I, I pray all, everyone else will be touched by it. Uh, you are indeed a changed man, and I'm sure they will. Once again, that movie is 90 Minutes in Heaven. It will hit theaters on September 11th. Thank you both so much for your time. It is much appreciated. Great hearing your story. Uh, uh, honored to be Thank here. You. Thank you. God very bless. Much. Till we meet again. Yes, indeed.